Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the top on. So grab your top, 12 6x32 1 inch screws, and let's go to town. This fits on just like all the other pieces did. And they're going to be a little bit tight because everything's all bolted together now. Well, that's just not one to, not one to go on there. There's one. And go ahead and. No, oh, that's not. Not down all the way, is it? So we'll start on this end. Hell, at this point, I'll start where it fits, right? The idea is it's just like on the other ones. Just throw a screw in there to hold it, so when you get one section put in, and you start reefing on the other side of it, it doesn't pop out on you. I won't make you suffer through this. Well, that took longer than I originally anticipated. But fortunately, you didn't have to suffer through it. Learned a couple of interesting things here, okay? Um, before you start, loosen up the, the screws at the bottoms of the side panels so the panel wobbles a little bit, okay? You can also use a screwdriver on these uh, stepper owner supports if they don't f appear to fit right, okay? You can put the screwdriver in very carefully and bend them a little bit. Just make sure you're applying pressure diagonally across without touching either the belt or the idler wheel up there okay um, and that'll help them fit and you know work your way around I still have some screws to tighten so let's go ahead and we'll take care of that now And I need to tighten up the screws that I loosened down here. So we get those done. And finally, grab your top and stick it in place. And there you go. You might want to tighten these up a little bit because mine are just a little bit loose. But you're ready to move on to the next task.